Hey, what's up guys? Arakatak here, bringing you episode 2 of the Twitter feed. Uh, now, the very first announcement we've got is, again, the Gears Weekend. Uh, it's just been announced by Pete Nub on Twitter. It's, it's lightning execution, uh, so it's only one minute per round. Uh, and the man-up rule will be on, so it's going to be a lightning fast round. It's going to be really hectic. You're going to have to run in there. There's going to be no time for camping. Um, first to five round wins, it's execution. And there's a single shot boom shot on the map to fight over. Um, but otherwise, it's Nasher only with a lightning rod Nasher. I'm not quite sure what that means. It might be the skin or maybe the Nasher's different. I'm not sure, but I'm excited to find out. And I'll have some footage of that up tomorrow as well, first thing that I can. So that's going to be great fun. Uh, secondly, it was PAX last weekend. Um, and Epic had an interview, which I've linked down below. And um, they actually hinted at there being potentially more DLC. Um, it's not, nothing, nothing certain, but they said that they might have something in the pipeline uh, focusing around one specific character, one of the lesser developed characters. Not quite sure who that is. It was uh, Mike Caps' favourite character, so um, mm, if you can find out who his favourite character is, you might find out who it's going to be about. But uh, yeah, there could be more DLC on the way, and again, this is only rumours. But uh, someone asked a question in the audience about combining Horde and Beast, and they said that that was actually something that they've been looking at and might develop. So could be something to do with Horde and Beast being combined or something like that. Something new and exciting. So uh, we've got that to look forward to. I hope they keep going with it, and uh, we'll see we'll see what that's like if there's any official announcements. Now, next, uh, if you want if you want to have a bit of a laugh, Immortal Spawn did a hilarious tournament um, the other day. The first bot versus bot tournament, insane bots, four v four. They were running some crazy strats. Two in bathroom on checkout. Carmine got a trip with the Mulcher on King of the Hill, and uh, he found out that the Cog are actually overpowered as they won three nil. So um, <laughs> that was quite funny. It's linked down below to check that out. Um, it's a bit of a laugh, and uh, I don't know how he managed to keep uh, commentating it so seriously throughout the whole thing. But um, yeah, that was quite funny. Next thing to talk about is that there's a push by some people in the community, like Arctic particularly, wants to see an Epic Con uh, or an Unreal Engine Con or something like that. Um, an Epic Games convention um, with all games on the Unreal Engine or just something like that. And what he wants to do is tweet tweet at Cliffy B or any of the other developers with uh, the hashtag EpicCon and make it happen. And uh, there's been a lot of people, it's been trending, and hopefully we'll get something like this going, because Epic's just t too big not to have a co its own convention, kind of like QuakeCon. There could be tournaments going on there that they could put prize money into. Uh, could be Gears tournaments that span across all three games, Gears 1, 2, and 3, all in the same tournament. Unreal Tournament championships and things like that. Uh, it's going to be really good, so if you guys will tweet that at uh, Cliffy B, hopefully we'll make that happen as well. Next thing, congratulations to Half and Half who won uh, Cream of the Crop last Saturday. And uh, make sure you tune in to Cream of the Crop this Saturday because there's going to be some new maps, uh, lots of new maps being played, and maybe even TDM. Um, Cream's trying to, he's really doing his part trying to bring in a lot of uh, the new maps and new game types into the competitive scene, despite some of the competitive players' extreme reluctance to uh, experience any kind of change. So, yeah, tune into that. It's going to be interesting to see how they play out. And it'll be streamed this Saturday from 2 p.m. PST, so make sure you tune into that one. Also in April, um, Fatal Strikes Online US Tournament has been announced. It's not a LAN, but it's still going to be a big multi-day tournament. Uh, starts on April 15th, starts at 2 p.m. EST, sponsored by Mad Cats and Microsoft. Um, Gao.se it's called, and the link's down below to that. Uh, it'll all be streamed, and there are prizes, a lot of the top teams from the US in there. So that's going to be a really good thing. We've got lots of tournaments to look forward to coming up. Um, there are the two, there's the COG Nationals and COG Vengeance that was mentioned in last week's episode, so if you want to check that out, check out the last week's episode for the links to that as well. But there's a lot of tournaments coming up in April, so there's no excuse not to see some of the top-level competitive gears uh, streamed live. Talking of which, huge congratulations to Apex, who bested Imperial in a very close uh, Gears War final at the EGL5 in Blackpool. If you want to check some of that out, uh, Yamamash has got some of the highlights of the final on his stream with his commentary. It's really exciting. Uh, great to check that out, and uh, Apex just won um, in the final, so it was really exciting. Imperial put up a great show in Apex have traditionally been the dominant team in Europe, um, but they finally had a good run for their money, so go and check that out. Uh, EGL this year was huge, had great main stage and f fantastic levels of participation, so go and check that one out. And the last thing, which is super important, is that Bunny XA Blaze, or Katie Boyd, uh, a prominent member of the community, her house burnt down and the only thing she was able to save were her pets. She's lost everything. It was a 12-hour donation drive stream. Uh, on this Saturday, April 14th, from midday to uh, midnight, Central Standard Time. Uh, so go there and please donate. The link's down below. She really needs your help. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys. That's all I've got for you today.